hi everyone welcome back to another video in today's video i am going to demonstrate you how we can roll back the versions of multiple item using power automate so let's start it first this is my list and i'm going to roll back the versions for item 16 8 9 10 or maybe 11 this based on your requirement you may customize it so let's create a flow for this Click on next step, search for variable, initialize variable, the type is going to be array as I am going to pass the IDs of item 16, 8, 9, 10, 11 suppose these are the items I would like to roll back the status of these uh, items so now search for apply to each input is going to be the variable we just created search for send http action provide the site address method is going to be get write this uri api web list it by title and the display name of your list let me copy it quickly from here items and the current item in iteration okay and versions so this endpoint will provide the version of this particular item as this is in the loop so this is how we can retrieve the versions of all item uh, available in our collection here let me first execute it quickly so that we can check we are going in the right direction Our flow and successfully let me quickly check the output of send send an HTTP action let's analyze it this is the raw JSON we this is the raw JSON and version label is something with which we would like to work if you look at here version level is 3.2 that three times this item was modified but we are going to roll back to the initial version that is 1.0 if i search for version label further this is version 2.0 and the related stuff similarly we have version 1.0 and the related stuff we can extract data from this object whatever we would like to so let's go back to our flow click on edit search for compose json is the version 1.0 so i am going to retrieve this last object from this raw json and we are going to work on this particular object as this is our case in this video but based on your requirement you may retrieve any specific version and you may work accordingly search for compose in compose select the output of previous section 
I'm using this peak code to copy it. Now remove it from here. Come here in expression. Write down it. And from this object, give me D. And from D, I want the exit array of items. So this is how we can get it. And from this, I want just the last object from this array as that is 1.0 version. Search for compose again. Here in expression and let me retrieve the version label so that we can further use that label in condition just for the surety that yes we are retrieving the right version to do so write output and name of your action compose we would like to retrieve the version label from that okay Now the next step is to include condition to check whether the version is 1.0 or not. So pass the output of compose2 and here use this function trim so that we will get our output in the string format. Next step retrieve the data specific data you would like to retrieve from this this version this particular version 1.0 so for this video i am going to retrieve the title we are going to uh, roll back the title as i updated the title for the demonstration and we are going to update the status as well if i come here this column let's go back to our flow search for compose rename it this is going to be title output compose this we are referring to as this object contains the version 1.0 data out of this i want title click on ok similarly copy paste this if i come here my clipboard we have the compose action here uh, it, collapsed rename it to status okay now click here outputs compose and the column name come here click on next search for update action date item provide the site address list name issue tracker and the id id is going to be the current item in iteration so we can retrieve that item using current item now in title we already have a compose with title so you can use that compose output in status click here you may use this drop down to set any specific status but i would like to update based on the compose 
so select it from here okay and i have included two columns as well just to check whether the rollback operation was successful or not so this is my column one version rollback i'm updating this with yes if operation is going to be successful and the date to retrieve date you can use utc function let me write it quickly come here in expression write utc now i guess this is the name of function let me quickly verify okay yes this is the right name this is the complete flow let's execute it quickly to check the output We are getting some error. What expect? okay this is not result that it is results updated and let me execute that was a typo let's execute it quickly Our flow ran successfully. Let me go back to my list and refresh it. So yes, we have successfully updated the versions of these items. If you look at the status, it is Y and the rollback date. Now let me check for the confirmation that yes, we successfully retrieved the version 1.0. So this was the version 1.0 with label 1.0. Title was com site is not working and the status was new. Then somebody like Raj Parihar updated the status in progress. Then the title com details updated and we have successfully rolled back to the initial version, which is this. So this is how you can roll back the versions of multiple item using workflow or power automate thank you for watching the video please hit the subscribe button and share the video if someone is working on the similar business case let me know if you have a custom business requirement i will help you to customize your solution or this workflow for your business need thank you see you in the next video